Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Ripple Battles XRP Scams launches initiative to combat cryptocurrency theft, fake giveaways, and financial crimes. Oh, what will those poor nefarious individuals out there trying to steal from you do now? Ah, there's some bad people out there. So I'm going to run through this. I've also got this article from Daily Hodl, and it is titled, One Billion People Will Engage in Blockchain Economy Within a Decade, says Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong. Now, the reason that this caught my attention, uh, well, not the initial reason that I wanted to read it. I was curious enough just based on the headline. But the reason that I wanted to cover it in the video is because the CEO, just as a little teaser here, acknowledges that... Uh, Bitcoin's got some shortcomings in terms of, I don't know, being used as money, speed, things like that, and acknowledges that there is a need for cryptocurrencies that are faster. Huh, well, what's faster than Bitcoin? I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I'm sure there must be at least one out there, right? <sighs> I hope so. But before we go any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, and if you're a fan of Ripple battling these fraudsters, battling the people that are engaging in scams relating to XRP, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel, damn it. It's the right thing to do. I want to run through this piece, though. This is from XRPOK.com, uh, which is Leonidas' website. And he talks about this, and he titled his piece, Ripple takes an active role against fraudulent activity. Unusual activity report, UAR. Ripple is the second most valuable private venture-backed fintech company in the United States and one of the top 50 blockchain companies worldwide, according to Forbes. Ripple is committed to promoting and using the crypto asset XRP, but the crypto asset space is plagued by scams, thefts, and fraud. This slows down adoption and negatively affects all parties involved. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, and I've highlighted on this channel before, and I'm sure they're still out there. I didn't bother checking today, but as recently as, I don't know, a week, week and a half ago, I, I remember mentioning them too, they're still out there, these scams, uh, where there's uh, there are YouTube channels with massive quantities of followers, some of them hijacked from legitimate YouTubers, and then they claim that they're Ripple or Brad Garlinghouse, and they've got, they've got these um, archived videos playing where Brad Garlinghouse is speaking, and then they tell you to go ahead and send in your XRP and that they'll send a bunch more back. And that is a scam. Th that is never a thing. And uh, they're still out there, though. But anyway, um, as of late, Ripple has become more active in its efforts to clear the space. In June 2019, it addressed the issue of fake volume reported by exchanges and adjusted its sales according to more reliable data. In October, Spring announced the addition of Chainalysis, the blockchain analysis company for exchanges, government agencies, and financial institutions to the XRP ecosystem. It was a few days ago that Chainalysis announced that it had started working with the top 70 XRP exchanges identified and planned to roll out identifications of major XRP scams and hacks in the following weeks. And I did cover that when it broke just a few days ago, that story. Um, then there's a subhead in here. Introducing the Unusual Activity Report, UAR. Now, Ripple continues its efforts in clearing the space by introducing the Unusual Activity Report uh, form on its website. The form was added uh, a few hours ago and was shared by Bank XRP on Twitter. And you can see there's uh, Bank XRP's tweet right there. Puts out a ton of really useful uh, information pretty much on the daily. Good, good account to follow. In terms of, uh, in the terms of and conditions of the report, Ripple underlines that it does not own the XRP ledger and the users of the XRP ledger are not customers of Ripple. Therefore, Ripple does not have the power to reverse transactions, even in the case of a reported financial loss, uh, for example, theft, according to the terms and conditions. And here's the quote. This form should only be used to report unusual activity, such as thefts, phishing, websites, giveaway scams. Uh, yeah, so think about those uh, that those YouTube scammers out there. I, I don't. I, we'll see what Ripple can do to tackle that. But it's like, damn YouTube! <laughs> like, find a way. I love YouTube. I really do. I, I couldn't appreciate it more. But uh, it's a lot to manage, and I get that. So I respect where they're coming from. I, I, I genuinely do. But man, <laughs> there's just endless quantities of scams out there. So anyway, giveaway scams, unrecognized currencies, unrecognized gateway slash exchanges, as well as concerns related to potential sanctions violations, money laundering. 
unauthorized transactions and or other financial crimes that you have witnessed on the XRP ledger. Information submitted via this form may be used or disclosed by Ripple in connection with evaluating or investigating your report. Additionally, Ripple may provide information from this report to federal, state, local, or international law enforcement or regulatory agencies for possible investigation. By submitting this report, you give us permission to use and disclose this information in these ways. Furthermore, you certify that all information is true and correct to the best of your knowledge. So I appreciate that they're trying to take a proactive approach. But, um, after agreeing to the terms and conditions, users can submit the form while including all the necessary information, such as transaction ID, uh, to help with the evaluation and investigation of the report. Uh, even though we could not find a link on Ripple's website uh, to lead to the UAR form, the form is operational at the time of writing. Um, after submitting the form, uh, users get uh, the following message. And I don't want to read the whole thing, but it basically says, uh, thank you for your submission there. Then they write, uh, we expect Ripple to publicly announce this initiative in the near future and give out more information. All right? Um, and let me go ahead and jump into this next piece now uh, from Daily Hoddle. One billion people will engage in blockchain economy within a decade, says Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong. I think you're going to enjoy this one here. So Brian Armstrong, co-founder and chief executive officer of crypto exchange Coinbase, says the number of people who engage with the blockchain economy will surge exponentially in the coming years. Well, I certainly agree with that. Uh, it is absolutely unavoidable. Uh, the 37-year-old billionaire tells Forbes that humanity is destined for a more global, more fair, more free, and more efficient financial system, and the 50 million people currently engaging with blockchain-based assets will rise to 1 billion over the next decade. And so that's one of those things where, like, I, I don't know to what degree those numbers are accurate, but the concept underlying that statement, that rings true to me. I, I think that you're going to have massive quantities of people um, engaged more and more so in, in, in with cryptocurrencies. And especially if, if a cryptocurrency ever does uh, find a way to get used in place of a fiat currency in any corners of the world, that... that <laughs> That, that would really be something. So I don't know that a deflationary asset like XRP would be the best one suited for something like that to be used in, in place of money. Um, I, I'd love to hear both sides of that. But in general, my, my understanding is that any asset that by nature is deflationary is not um, typically good uh, to be used in place of money. Um, I haven't really talked about that too much on the channel. I've mentioned it a few other times. I could use some more research on that, but that is my understanding from uh, financial gurus out there. And... Um, Maybe I could learn more and talk about that in the future. That would be a good thing to, to cover in a future video anyway. But, uh, but that also goes back to the, what I always say, which is that different cryptocurrencies have different technical attributes and, um, and, and different ways in which they're adopted as a result. And so not all people want the same thing from cryptocurrencies. So to me, that's okay. It's like I don't expect XRP to do everything, but damn, it's good at what it does in terms of being a bridge currency and what a coil is doing in terms of uh, coming up with a new form of web monetization that doesn't require paywalls or advertisements. Anyway, the piece continues. Bitcoin and blockchain technology are still hounded by scaling limitations and face harsh criticisms uh, from the likes of billionaire Warren Buffett and economist Nouriel Rabini. And Armstrong admits there is much room for improvement in the cryptocurrency space. <clears throat> now check out this next part because uh, this is my favorite part of the whole article. He says there are potential solutions that can address the shortcomings of Bitcoin as a means of exchange for the global economy. These include utilizing the king coin primarily as a store of value while creating new digital currencies for speedy transactions. Well, how about that? So a different cryptocurrency could be used for speedy transactions. Of course, what he says here... Um, how did they work here as a story value? Well, while creating new digital currencies, yes, we don't have any yet, but hopefully, gosh darn it, one day somebody's going to make a cryptocurrency that's faster. Have you not heard of XRP? It's like a thousand times faster than Bitcoin. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. You, you, you're in the world of crypto here. This is your career. Anyway, Coinbase is now one of the world's biggest Bitcoin platforms with more than $21 billion in assets under custody. Its revenue is projected to top $800 million this year as it rolls out more products, including the world's first Visa Network-approved crypto debit card 
and add support for a rising number of crypto assets, including the recent addition of the Ethereum-based token Kyber network, KNC, on Coinbase Pro. And I'm not familiar with that last bit there. But, uh, but there you go. That's it for this video. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a simple XRP bot. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau!